Hi, my name is Lindsay. I'm one of the children's librarians at Bartholomew County Public Library. And today I want to talk to you about Fleetwood Mac. Specifically, I want to talk to you about books about Fleetwood Mac, which is what I have been reading recently. Um, if you've been watching TV at all in the last year, reading books, you might have read Daisy Jones and the Six um, or watched the TV show on Amazon. I loved them. And when I found out that it was loosely based on Fleetwood Mac, I decided to take a really, really deep dive into reading books about Fleetwood Mac, biographies, memoirs, all of those things. And so I wanted to share some of my favorites with you. If you're someone who is really, really into Stevie Nicks in particular, I read two excellent biographies of Stevie Nicks this year. Um, Gold Dust Woman by Stephen Davis was wonderful. And I'm currently in the middle of reading Zoe Howe's Visions, Dreams, and Rumors. They're both excellent books and I highly recommend those if Stevie Nicks is the appeal of Fleetwood Mac for you. If you're interested in learning more about uh, Lindsey Buckingham, the frontman lead guitarist for Fleetwood Mac, uh, I highly, highly recommend Storms by Carol Ann Harris, who's one of his uh, ex-girlfriends. It's also one of the more salacious Fleetwood Mac books out there. Um, so if you're into the gossip, uh, into learning about the excesses and indulgences of Fleetwood Mac, which were many, um, that is an excellent, excellent starting point if you wanna learn more about the band. Mick Fleetwood, the drummer, um, and one of the founding members whom the band's name is taken from, uh, has several autobiographies out, uh, including one from 1990 and one more recent one called Then Play On. I highly recommend the more recent autobiography, Then Play On. It gives you a really good high level picture of the band over the years from its inception in the 1960s through all of its lineups. Um, and I think it's probably one of the more even handed um, accounts out there, although Mick Fleetwood himself uh, does have a flair for the dramatics. There is a little bit of that. Um, and it's very pleasant to listen to as well. I listened to the audiobook and I really enjoyed the narration. Finally, if you're someone who is really into the more technical aspects of music and making music, I cannot recommend enough Ken Calais books, Making Rumors and Get Tusked, both of which are about the respective albums uh, in the titles. One is about the making of the Rumors album. One is about the making of the Tusk album. Ken Kelly himself was the sound engineer and a producer on those albums, uh, was very deeply involved. And I learned so much listening to his books about how sounds are recorded, produced, layered, tape machines, uh, analog versus digital recording, and just that whole process. It was so insightful. Um, I cannot recommend those enough if you're really into music production. All that to say, there's a lot of books out there about Fleetwood Mac uh, and about the band members. Um, and luckily for us, we have subscriptions to Libby and Hoopla. And I was able to read all of these books digitally through the Indiana Digital Library, listen to them on Hoopla. Um, it was very easy and simple to do. And hopefully you'll learn something fun too.